Hello and welcome back to another video with me, Mioni. This time we're looking at the updated patch 4.3 under the Moonlight page. They always do these pages where they update with a bit of information about what's coming in the patch and they update the page regularly in the weeks and months running up to the actual release of the patch, which is coming in late May this year. So they still haven't got a trailer up here, we'll be the first to know about that and there'll be a trailer breakdown on the actual channel. But for now we have two things updated, Return to Ivalice and some additional updates, which is pretty hype. So first of all, let's look at the Return to Ivalice section which has three images. As you can see here, the first image shows what appears to be the Bangar sort of on board the airship fighting against Alma. Alma seems to be upset in the center there and you've got the various characters from the storyline upset about the journal. Maybe the Bangara have returned because they haven't understood anything inside of it but they stole and maybe we'll be held hostage or maybe we'll work with them. Who knows. The second image is of the Ridorana lighthouse. If you've played Final Fantasy 12 then this image in particular will just blow you away. This is the actual area where you land your boat usually and then you have to go through all those monsters to get into the Ridorana lighthouse itself through that sort of maze of corridors and alleyways. Well it appears to be that we're going to be in that section as well. Maybe there will be even a boss there. And the third image is what we've already seen already of the exterior of a Ridder on a lighthouse poised precariously atop of that amazing looking waterfall. The text reads, South of Rabanasta, in a remote corner of the Valnard Sea, gapes a fathomless moor that, for centuries, has slowly devoured the world around it, Ridarana. Whether you believe the cataract natural wonder, or demon-torn gate to the very underworld, journeys to her edge should be made with the utmost caution, seeing as none who have stumbled into her darkness have ever returned to tell their tale. An ancient spire, once used by the Dalmascans as a lighthouse, rises defiantly above the churning waters to warn for thoughtful and foolhardy alike. It is into this spire that the transformed Bagamnon has fled. It is into this hell that you must follow. And the second part is the additional updates, which they're actually going to immediately look at the Crossworld Link Shells, which is a thing that's happening in 4.3. This is long awaited, where people on different servers can actually create a Link Shell or a permanent form of chat function for their Crossworld statics. As you can see here, we've got people communicating in world B, D, A, and E. Hey, anyone want to run Ridorana Lighthouse? Can you give me 10 minutes? I want to go too. But at least they can communicate about it and then queue up together in a cross-world party. Bridge the gap between world with a new cross-world link shell system. Keeping in touch with friends on the same data center has never been easier. Additionally to this, we have some glamour dresser updates. There is no greater quest than seeking the perfect outfit. At least they know it's endgame. And the Glamour Dresser is here to help. This already spacious commode of clothing can now hold a greater variety of gear. What's more, any clothing turned into glamours can now be restored to its original form. More glamour spaces is going to make everyone happy. Just exactly how many they're going to add depends on how happy those people actually are. Either way, that's huge news. It's going to be awesome to be able to take stuff out of there and put it back in again. That's something that a lot of people ask for. It's finally getting implemented to the glamour dresser. It's finally a lot more useful than its first implementation. And secondly, we get some images here of the guest books, which is a new housing feature where if you visit someone's house, you're able to write down your experiences in them like you know when you visit a hotel in real life and the first image here is of a Lalafell climbing on top of a stall to write a trip advisor review in this guest book here this guy's probably putting that everything's too high for him to reach no doubt about that the second image is of the guest book outside so you can have this internally or externally by the looks of it the external one looks very fancy I've not seen anything like that but the internal one, if we look back, is just a tabletop item. So, I don't know, I'd probably go for the inside one, personally. It says, Wondering if friends dropped by your estate to say hello? 
Leave a guest book to sign and wonder no longer. Perhaps you'll even find thoughtful note from an unexpected caller. Or you might just get horrible messages from complete strangers, who knows. But either way, this is a huge step forward. I love the glamour dresser changes. Everyone's going to be excited about that. The guest books are something extra. The Crossworld link shell should have been in there from the start, in my opinion. It's great to see that they're finally added. It's a good step towards making it so that you can play with other people in other content cross-server and waiting for the day that we get the open world accessible by people from different realms as well but I think that's a bit far into the future than we currently are capable of now. The return to Ivalis stuff is always getting me excited, these new images are fantastic, I love the idea that we're actually going to be you know assaulting from the ground of the Ridorana lighthouse as you would in Final Fantasy XII. Very exciting, and I can't wait to see more of that storyline. Either way, this was an update video for Patch 4.3's Lodestone page. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time.